I'ma be happy, I'ma be good You better believe it, I'ma be happy I'ma be good, get that understood Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel I know it's been a very long time since I posted a video And I'm sorry guys for um, not uploading But my life has been very, 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 very chaotic um, But anyways, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys What I packed for me and the kids to go to Cancun so yeah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I packed for me and the kids to go to Cancun. We went to Cancun a month ago, um, yeah, a month ago today, um, and we really enjoyed our time. It was the kids' first time on a plane, their first out-of-country um, trip. So yeah, we really enjoyed our trip. But if, but if you want to see what we packed for our trip, then keep on watching. I'm going to include our luggage and our carry-on bags in this video. Alright guys, so for the trip, I do have two carry-on size suitcases and then I also have a kid size luggage. So I am going to go through and show you guys everything that we have packed for the trip. So in this first packing cube right here, I just put all of our pajamas. I put the kids two short pair of pajamas. Then I put them a long pair just in case it's cold in the hotel room. I have them some tank tops. In, I have them some tank tops in here, some extra socks, and then I packed me like a long pair of pajamas and then a nightgown. These are all the pajamas that we would have on the trip. Uh, so we we would be gone for five days and four nights. So um, I think that's enough for us to have. And then on the side of this packing cube, I just have two loofahs. I have my socks on the side of here. This packing cube. In this packing cube, I have our main clothes that we that we will be wearing every day. Um, okay, so I put me and the kids' clothes in here just so it's easier for me to pick out our clothes for the day. So these are the kids' clothes for one day. Then I will wear that on this day. And then we're kind of going to be matching every day. So on another day, I will wear this little yellow tank top. And then they will wear this little pineapple shirt um, and some shorts. And I just have their shirts rolled up inside of their jeans. Um, then another day, I will wear a little pink dress. And then the kids are going to wear... Um, this little tropical outfit, um, if you've seen my um, spring and summer haul, this was in that video. And then on another day, they would have this little outfit and I would wear this, which is kind of matchy with them. Uh, so that's all the pairs of clothes that we have in here. I put four outfits in this packing cube because that's pretty much all that I could fit. Um, but in their luggage, we also have more clothes in there. Alright, so then I have our underwear, well, my underwear, and I put a couple of their underwear in here just for like easy access, um, but majority of their underwear is in their um, suitcase, and I brought us all new pairs of underwear because why not? <laughs> okay, so in this part of the suitcase, I have all of our uh, sanitizing type of stuff. We have um, disinfectant wipes. Lysol spray and I believe I have like one or two hand sanitizers in here and then my period is scheduled to come on so I had to pack some pads and I also packed tampons and then we have all of our toiletry items um, body oil, deodorant, a soap case, face wash, um, body wash um, all of that type of good stuff. The last thing that I put in this suitcase is our, our not our pajamas, our swimsuits. So we are going to have three swimsuits each. So we have a matching pair and then they have this pair and then that pair and then I have two other pair and then a cover up for the beach. So that is suitcase one and we will move on to suitcase number Alright, so moving on to suitcase number two. 
So we have another packing cube in here. I put um, Makai's underwear on one side and then Malik's underwear on another side. And then when you open it up, we have a couple of more outfits. These are pretty much um, just in case type of outfits. Um, so we have an outfit right here for all three of us. The kids have like a dressier outfit just in case we go to like a fancy dinner or something. Um, and then they have like a extra play outfit in here. And then I have me just one extra outfit in here. So that's what's in this little packing cube. And then over here I have my beach towel. I have the kids little sun hat. And then in this little bag, I have their sunglasses. So that's what's in here. And then on the railing of their suitcase, I put their puddle jumpers. Um, they take up so much space. So I literally just hooked it up to the suitcase. All right, so now on to the other side of this suitcase. All right, so on this side, I put some pull-ups in here. Malik is pretty much potty trained, but they both wear pull-ups at nighttime because they both like have accidents at nighttime. So I wanted to make sure that we were going to be good with pull-ups, so I just packed a good bit of them. And then I packed some wipes. Then I have some sandals in here, some shower shoes, and I put both of the kids some flip-flops in here. I got them a new pair of socks with the grips on it because I was reading the reviews for the hotel and it said that the floors were slippery so I wanted to make sure that they had some with the um, grips on it. Then in here we have some band-aids, um, some Neurosporin, a little first aid kit and some q-tips. Um, my kids are very clumsy so have to make sure I have band-aids and stuff and then we also have some band-aids that are waterproof because we will be getting in a lot of water so I want it to be where the band-aid won't come off if it gets wet um, then in these little containers we have extra masks again um, I feel like you can never have too many masks in this day and age so these are my extra masks and then in these two I have extra masks for both the kids Makai and Malik so that is everything that's in suitcase number two. All right, so our last suitcase is not as organized as these two suitcases, but this is not really like a necessity, I would say, type of bag, but this is like an extra stuff that I can fit in here. So in this little container, I have my bonnet for my hair. I have my edge control brush, and then two pairs of earrings. I put the kids little Nike slides or well, sandals in here um, because they are super comfortable and they can wear these on the beach or, or the pool and I don't have to worry about them getting wet. Um, and then I also have our outfits that we will be wearing on the plane. So they are going to be wearing shorts. Um, hopefully it's not super cold on the plane but if so they will have a jacket and I will have a blanket. So. If they get cold, we'll have that. Um, but then one of my cousin's friend made us this little shirt. Super cute. It says vacation mode. So we will all be wearing this little shirt. And they're wearing shorts. Like I said, they're super, super soft. Like they should be really comfortable in these shorts. Um, then I have the same shirt. And then I'm going to be wearing some biker shorts with mine. Uh, so yeah, so this is in this suitcase because we are flying um, out from a different city. Um, we are actually flying out from Charlotte. Um, so yeah, I had to pack our little clothes for the plane since we're not leaving from here. Um, again, some more pull-ups for us to have in the hotel at Charlotte. Then on the other side of this bag, I mean suitcase. <laughs> I have their beach towels. I picked them up this little, um, what is it? An animal scrubber. So you pretty much just put the water in it and you can 
um, squirt it at people. I chose to get this opposed to the water guns because, you know, I'm not trying to have no issues. So, I just got this. It's cute. It's kid friendly. So, I feel like that would be great for them. And then because I can't pack them like any big beach toys, I decided to get this. It's a little sand bucket and then it has a couple of beach toys in here that they can play with. And it was only $1 so I was like, I cannot beat that. Uh, so I, I know that I have fun with that. I did get them some more beach toys but I didn't have any room to fit it. So I feel like that would still be okay for them. So that concludes what was in suitcase number three. So now I will show you guys what we have in our personal item bag and then that will be the end of this video. Alright guys, so for our carry-on bags, we are going to, we're not our carry-on, our personal item bags, we are going to be using book bags because I feel like that is the most convenient, especially with little kids. Malik, my two-year-old, he would be riding in the stroller um, so I can just put his bag at the bottom of the stroller. Actually, I'll show you guys his stroller in just a second. Makai, he would be walking. So, um, I tried to make it as lightweight as possible so that he could hold his own book bag on his back. And then I would be carrying my book bag, pushing Malik, and pushing these suitcases. So, pray for me, y'all. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys what's in their bag. So, in the first little compartment, we have some more extra masks because you know kids lose their masks my kids are always putting the mask in their mouth um so i just wanted to make sure they had enough um i packed some baby wipes in here because you know they get dirty um this is the actual mask that he will be boarding the plane with i love this mask because it has a lanyard on it so if it falls off his face it won't hit the ground and then it has this little adjustable thing right here so I can make sure that it fits on his face good. So I really love that mask. Um, but I got him some sunscreen in here. Because I know as soon as we get to the resort, he's going to be ready to play. My baby loves being outside. Um, I got him this little Mr. Potato Head. I'm honestly not sure like what is exactly in here to be honest. But... We will be, we'll figure that out. Uh, he has some Lysol wipes. A hand sanitizer. And then a disinfectant spray. Oh, he has, I don't, oh, this one is Makai's. I don't know why he has Makai's and his hand sanitizer in his bag. But um, that's everything that's in the first part of his bag. All right, so on the big part of his bag, I have not, I have not put his tablet and headphones in here yet, but I will be doing that in the morning. We leave out tomorrow. Um, so, I, his tablet is on the charger right now. And I, I need to go through it and download him some movies and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway. What's already in his bag is his snacks. So, these are all his little snacks. I just got him an applesauce, some muffins, a Nutri-Grain bar, chips, goldfish, and then some fruit snacks. The flight is only two and a half hours, so I feel like that should be more than enough for him to have on the plane. My baby loves Blippi, so I got him this little Blippi lunchbox. It has like pretend milk and other different food in here. Um, so he's going to love that. He has not seen anything that's in here yet. Um, he has a change of clothes for if he has any accident or anything. And inside of his little change of clothes, I made sure to put a pull-up and a um, pair of underwear in here. And then the outfit at the bottom is his outfit to wear on the way back home. He has another little blippy. This is a surprise figure. Um, I'm sure he'll love that. I got them this little coloring activity book. And then he has some Play-Doh with the little um, cutters. Um, they both love these little extra sketch things. So I picked them up one of these. 
and then I picked him up this little book because we read books every night at bedtime so I wanted to make sure that I had at least two books that we could read at night and then the last thing that he has is this little mess free blippy coloring book and yeah he's gonna flip out when he sees this stuff um, so yeah, let me put the stuff back in Malik's bag and then I will show you guys what's in my five-year-old's bag. Alright, so moving on to my five-year-old's bag. In the front of his bag, he also has some disinfectant wipes. He has some extra... <coughs> he has some extra mask in here. He has a Lysol spray, disinfectant spray. The same mask as my two-year-old for the plane. Some sunscreen as well. And then he has some hand sanitizer. And that same little Mr. Potato Head. So he'll actually have two hand sanitizers in his bag. Guys, so onto my bag. The camera was not recording when I took all this stuff out, so I'm just gonna re-record it. So all of this stuff goes in my little compartment down here. I just have this little Adidas book bag. It is very, very spacious. I really love this book bag. Um, but yeah, so for my um wipes, I went ahead and packed this little big thing of wipes. It comes with 80 um, because I just really want to make sure that me and the kids stay um safe and healthy so i wanted to make sure that i pack this big thing of wipes to wipe down the plane really good and then when we get to our resort make sure that i wipe everything in the resort good um i have these little gloves just in case i need those i have two pair of disposable masks in my suitcase i'm mean, not my suitcase my book bag have some hand sanitizer some disinfectant spray. I have this gum for the kids to chew when we're doing takeoff and landing to help with their ears popping on the plane. Um, so this will be their first flight. So I wanna make them as comfortable as possible. All right, so in the second compartment of my book bag, let's see. Um, I put some snacks in here for me. Um, just some crackers, some cookies, some gum, and some gummy bears. Um, pretty much the kids are going to be the main ones eating those gummy bears. Um, I have my wallet with my money in there. Um, I also have my debit card and um, my debit card, my ID, and the kids' insurance cards. Just in case like we have any emergency happen. Um, I also need to print out the paperwork showing that I have custody, custody of them. Because if you're new to my channel, I have custody of my kids. Um, they are biologically my cousins. So yeah, um, when I do print it out, I'm going to put it in this little zipper right here. And actually, I'm going to do that after I finish recording this video so I don't forget. Because I don't want to have any issues about um, that. I didn't have any issues with getting their passport. So I'm praying and hoping that I don't have any issues while we're boarding the plane and stuff. But um, anyway... So I put some travel size laundry detergent because the resort that we're staying at, they charge you per item to wash your clothes. And I have small kids, they have accidents. And I don't wanna just have, like if they pee on themselves, I don't wanna have the pee just being in our room for multiple days because that would start to stink. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I had that. I did pick up this little travel size laundry basket I have not opened it up, so I don't, I'm not really sure how big it is or anything like that. But I felt like this would come in handy for their dirty clothes and my dirty clothes, but probably just their dirty clothes. And then I also have medicine, all type of medicine that you could think of. Um, I have Pepto-Bismol for me. I have two things of Advil. I have some drama, what is this? Drama mean for the kids. Pepto Bismol for the kids, cough syrup medicine for them, Tylenol, and um, some allergy medicine because Makai, my five year old, he has bad allergies. So I wanted to make sure that we had all the medication that we needed. And then I also have this little 
done dish detergent too so I can wash their cups um, after they use it because I don't want their cups to get nasty or anything. So that's what's in this component of the bag. All right, so for my final compartment, I just have a Ziploc bag with my clothes that I'm going to wear back um, home and then also an extra pair of clothes. Like I said, my cycle is scheduled to come on while we're um, there. So I just put some pads in there and an extra pair of underwear um, just in case I need that. Um, I also have my camera case. I'm actually recording on my camera right now, um, but I have that. And then in this compartment right here, I have my other memory card. Uh, just in case I run out of footage, I mean, I run out of space on this card that I'm using right now. I have this little water protecting um, pouch so I could put my phone in. And while I'm on the beach with the kids or in the pool with them, I can use this, put my phone inside of here. And I don't have to worry about having any water damage while I'm trying to take pictures of them. So that would come in handy. I have my camera charger and an extra battery. And that's it. So I hope that this video was helpful for anybody trying to decide what they want to pack for them and their kids. This is the aftermath. We have three suitcases and we also have three personal items. Um, so yes, this way I was able to fit everything that we needed um, in this suitcase. Honestly, this was just our clothes that we're going to be wearing to um, Cancun. So, the one side of this suitcase would be pretty much empty. So, if I want to buy any souvenirs or anything, this would be the suitcase that we place those in. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!